to this game. Oh, it looks like Torzog <laughs> died. Torzog? Torzog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... Jesse isn't just a girl's name. All those arrows, his inventory, is everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... God! Poof! I know, that was absolutely awful. We were talking like a second ago, and then suddenly he's full of arrows. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This... Is, why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh, who would do this? There's the trap door that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. This whole thing is getting creepier by the minute. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? <sighs> Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a gift arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're, they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows. Possibilities are fascinating. Would you stop pointing that thing all over the place? You're making me nervous. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh... Oh. Oof. I thought my recording was from the first one. I swore I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those not too long ago. My nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Oh. Uh, What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay. Hang on a minute. It's you. I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um... Okay. Lucy, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. <gasps> well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, and then poof. You guys. Whoa, that's... Unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. That's His nose is too big. Perfect. Must have been when we showed up. <laughs> Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. <laughs> Somebody's up There's Dan! Right there! Dan's right there! Look, guys! He's right there! Oh my god! I just saw That's Dan! Really not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Let's huddle up in the dining room. There he is! Oh my god, there's Dan! Oh my Jesus! There he is! There's Dan! Oh my god. Oh, I hope this cake! And there's Stampy. Yeah, it's not. There's Stampy and Dan's no, Captain Sparkles. <laughs> Stacy plays. <laughs> Wait, Dan's hair changed. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. But my friends call me Lizzie. Oh. Stacy plays Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news. Is it good? 
Good news? Uh, yeah, it's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! No. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Torque Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa! How can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone! Come on! Don't get greedy! Just... I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. The stuff just disappeared. Went down this weird hole in the floor. Are we just supposed to take your word for that? Guys, I saw it too. Jesse was poking around in Torque Dog's stuff right before it got sucked into a hopper. So I'm looking at this situation, I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Top Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No! I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but, uh, I don't know, maybe? Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Dog. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hunting us? Hey, I don't know what kind of danger you guys are wrapped up in, but we just met you, so... I'm thinking this isn't my problem? Well, uh, we're all stuck in this house now, so it kind of is your problem, too? Yeah, I guess that's true. this danger tool has my stomach all queasy. It's okay, Stampy. It's okay, Stampy. Is he? Is he? The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's gotta know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're gonna be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's get investigating, then. Talk to Dan and Lizzie. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this truck dog situation. Yeah, go ahead. Hmm. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with his trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk Dog. Uh. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. I really love Dan. I really love his videos. It sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory. Yeah, something was not quite adding up here. Talk to Stampy Cat and Stacy plays. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey Jesse, what's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, what? what? like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Uh, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief? Huh? Interesting. Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm hmm. Thanks, you.
you to. This has been enlightening. No problem. <laughs> yeah. I, I kind of like sta it's Stampy. I kind of like so Stampy. Did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well-known thief. A thief, huh? That might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. Alright, I think the last people we can talk to is Cassie and Sparkles. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? There was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Truck Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just... Made me mad, I guess. I asked Stacy about why she wanted to see Torque Dog's inventory so bad. She said she was just curious. Huh, just like me. What a coincidence. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow, thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. It's definitely something. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity is piqued. You already had me at rare item. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a couple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure, supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? I actually have one of my own. Really? Yeah, I do. Just used it a little no, while ago to put get that away. You, you can't just pull that out here. Okay. You know, I had a theory about why you were here, and I, I think this might just prove it. Well, that's going to be it for today's episode. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.